All right, welcome back to another episode of LT Puga Gaming for Friday Night Magic. Uh, I wanted to take you guys through. I've reached the end of the game where you fight Garok, which I believe is the end of the game, unless they have a surprise. I played it a couple times and I beat him, and then to my surprise, he doesn't die. He like evolves into Gorok the World Slayer. And they show a little animation of him getting extra spikes and stuff. And then you have to fight him again, and then I get my ass whooped. Done this a couple times. I could always beat him the first time. There's been like once or twice where I haven't. Just, you know, the cards didn't work, draw or work out right. Um, but. I want to take you guys through this. I'm going to use it as one of my first games for the Friday Night Magic. Uh, just to see what you guys think, I'm playing against him with my Green Weenie deck. That's what I call it. Because it really is. It's, there's really not much in it that's very powerful, in my opinion. I love Forest, but the available cards that I have to use for my Forest cards is just very limited. I have, <laughs> yeah, just let's just say we're I'm having an issue with that right now. I think Magic kind of dropped the ball, but or Wizards, but. Hopefully there will be an update soon or an expansion or something. And no, I will not keep that hand. Well, here we go. See, first you start off fighting Garak. Oh, that's more land that I want, but I'm going to keep it because I don't like to go down to six. I have nothing I can play first hand. I'm gonna put down my gate. Put down the gate. See? And he has mana ramping cards, which are not available to me right now, even though I have every card unlocked. Which this is not part of it, which I think it's... I wish I would have that. Unlike me, I have this that it comes in tapped. But that's alright. That is alright. Bring him out. It's not exactly a, a great starting. Because you can even see here, it's just Garak, his picture, his normal picture of him being with that curse on him that Liliana put on him. That's how he looks. And he's just mana ramping like crazy, as you can tell. He already has five mana on the battlefield. But usually I don't have an issue fighting him this first time. So, so far, I guess, so good. He hasn't been able to hit me. But, that's really dangerous. Because he has a lot of heavy hitting cards. And a lot of cards that do a lot of things. Which he's probably going to start playing right now. He has six mana on the battlefield. It's twice as much as me. See, there you go. That enters the battlefield. Gains five life, and if it dies, it gets a three-three green beast creature. So, in that regards, put that out. See, I wish I would have had this before I play that, but it is what it is. See what happens. 
not. Because you could block everything I have. I just... I don't know if it's just me or... I don't know, but I hear a lot of people, they're not happy about the selections of cards that they put in here that are available for you to use. Even with the deck that you start off with, it's just... You play a match when you're playing the, the campaign mode just like like two to three times before you actually beat it. Probably even more because just the deck you start off with is just it's just a weenie deck. <laughs> Which is myself, like, I have all the cards and I still feel that I can't build anything that's powerful or even worth building. It's just not worth it. It's just, it doesn't work. This is not looking good for me for this first game. Hit me for 10, be down to 9. And look at that, it's like he never left the field. Three cards. Oh boy. All right. Well, let's put him out. ended up playing really bad. I don't know. You guys let me know what you guys think about the Magic 2015. I like the whole new concept of being able to build my own deck, but at the same time, I'm not too impressed. Well then, that ended the game. All right, well, let's try this one more time. And if I don't beat him here, then that's all right. Um, no. Now it's gonna be even worse. Oh. Fine. Since I don't have to play anything, have anything to play on my first, unless my draw, no, I'll be good. Oh, it will be good. I just hope I'm not mana screwed. Because as good as this card is, I don't think. Yeah, this is not going to be good. So, the way I'm seeing this, I'm going to need to play her to draw another card. Hopefully, it's a land. Give me the land. It's not. It's not good. It's not good at all. Oh, boy. I have that in my deck, but it's really like the only mana weapon I have. This is not gonna be pretty. Well, I could play all of these, but just 
turn at a time. Being mana screwed is not good at all. Not good at all. Oh, well, that was my mistake. I could have hit him for one, and I should have hit him for one. Believe me, any little damage, it doesn't really matter. You should take advantage of it, which I should have. And now that's in my way, which is a 4 4. And whenever a creature powered three or greater comes into the battlefield, he may draw a card. Alright, we got more mana. Mana, mana, mana. Well then. Mana, mana, mana. He's gonna get that. He's gonna get that. I could play that and make him a 5-4. won't be able to block it. Hit him for 5. Hmm. I could just bring out... Yeah, let's do that. I hope that's not the wrong choice. But then again, I still could have played that. I still can, but you know what? Whoops. I am gonna. So that's the good thing about that card. Even though I'm out of mana, I'm not actually out of mana because I could tap a creature because of Convoke. In order to play it, and it works just fine. I will not be blocking. And another one of those bastards. Bastards! Bastard. All right. Well, unfortunately, I got a four three. I need mana. I need mana. Didn't pick that right. Should have picked it the opposite way so that I could still play my fog if I needed to. God damn it, I'm making too many mis rookie mistakes. Oh well. That's alright. Oh boy, look at that. Back up to 19. And he could draw, and he drew two cards. Hit me for half of what I got. Room call bear. Equal to or less than, right? Less than, so yeah, power. Hell, he can't block it, but he can. Oh boy! Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy! 
What to do? What to do? I don't see me surviving this. Could play that. Give it to him. Hit him for two. Still keep hitting him. I could play both. I could play this and this. You know what? Let's. No. I'm gonna start being able to pull out these one one creatures. So let's do this first. Let's play him. Give her the plus one plus one. Just because. And then we could play her. And we're going to her combat phase so that she could hit for two. Attack. Continue. I don't know if I should use my fog next turn. I'm sure he's going to send these at me. I'm sure he is. Pulls out that crap. The hollow hinge beast. That is ugly. That's some awesome artwork though. In the world of monsters, it's the stuff of nightmares. He draws two cards! Oh, excuse me. Motherfucker. Those are really good cards. I wish I had them. Wait, don't I? Or do I? I believe I do, but I don't have many creatures that come out that are powerful. Three or more power. I don't see why he wouldn't attack with all his creatures that are available to. Interesting. Very interesting. So he's gonna get two of them. Played that. It's all right, it's all right. He has so many cards in his hands and so much mana. It's ridiculous. And I got mana screwed. Oh boy, would you look at that. My friend recommended making a straight burn deck out of red but I just I don't like those type of decks it's not fun <laughs> there's no challenge in it in my opinion uh, you know what I 
think I'm gonna have to play fog. I could block three, but that's not enough. I have to play fog. More mana, like he needs any more. Well, Kentucky Fried Chicken and Eggs. Only if I had another creature on the battlefield to attack with, I could attack this one. God dang it. I could have took it right now. But you know what? I still might be able to. play this right I think I, I would I'd be very surprised if I'm able to take this win that's a maybe that is a maybe I have enough to block his creatures none of them had trample Jesus. I should just let him keep doing that so he How many cards does he have left in this deck? Oh he has twenty-four. That's gonna be too many turns. Just those two would kill me, so... Dare take test three. I think I do. Oh no, I'm not gonna be able to kill him next time. What was I thinking? Well, that ended it. One more time, people. One more time. I was trying to get to, trying to show you guys to get to the second stage of this battle, but apparently I can't get past the first stage now. Oh my God! This is what is what? I can't. I can't. I can't. Oh, this is better than before. Uh, I'm not getting good draws gain the life see rampant growth I wish I had that I know I may be drawing the mana but
owe this game. It's been a pain in my ass for the last couple of days. Well, drawing the mana now, I tell you guys that much. This keeps going the way it's going, and if I could get him out with that, that'll be a nice hit for him. Sometimes the way these first game goals are, I wish it would go as good as when I'm fighting him the second time. I can play that on her and get five in now. The whole thing about this is that you have to rush him down. That's kind of how it works. As much as I would like to give some focus to trying to, okay, well, if I do, if I wait, he'll attack with that and I can boost it and they'll kill this creature. It just. I don't know, playing against Garak in this game is just too long. It's just too much. It, just, it would take too long to even try to kill him because he'll. Just if you let him get to like around this point where he has this much mana and he's just pulling out big creatures and all that, it's just it is not pretty. But uh, see, I will play this. I have to. I just hope he doesn't have or draw the destroy target permanent. If I could get this up, that would be sweet. Right, what do you have? What do you have? You got a lot of mana. That's what you have. I'm not going to block it. As much as that hurts. It's like he's just so lucky. He draws all these perfect cards. But, well, that's nice. That's really nice. This might actually be a good thing. Two more attacks like that, and that should be alright. Unless he plays some sort of bullshit card. Which, if he does, you guys would know right away what bullshit card it is. Oh, he didn't attack, but what is he gonna do? Okay. It's okay, though, because I can play him next turn. Actually, my next turn. Oh, this is gonna be pretty. Just love drawing them cards. This is actually gonna be pretty nice. Cause I'll get my counters from that. Uh should I attack with him? Make him a seven seven. You know what? 
Screw it. Attack with awe. I might have won this. Seven left, seven damage left. That'll be only two, so I'm left to take him out. That has to go. Garak has drawn on the power of the curse and he rises to face you again. Defeat the World Slayer. Garak the World Slayer. It's a whole different picture. He just looks nasty. He looks like Bane. You guys notice that? He looks like Bane and this is a really bad hand with only one. See what I'm saying? This always happens. Well, I will keep that. Not bad, the stuff I drew. So that's gonna have to come out first. Then that. Whoops. Then. Well, they're gonna come out first. Well, most likely him. See, and before he was playing the straight forest deck. Damn it, I could play him. Have an extra one out. You know what? That's fine. He helped me mana ramp. Too bad he comes into the battlefield tapped. It's alright, though. He attacks with that, I'm going to kill it. I can't allow that to be out in the battlefield for too long. I wish I had rampant growth. I'll be running four in my deck if I ever could. Alright. Oh, they're making this really difficult. I have to. I have to. I'm going to go to the battlefield. And it's his turn. Something. Oh, let's look at that. Hopefully I could take him out. No, no. 
to save my creatures. I can pull out seven creatures. Ugh, son of a bitch. I know exactly who's in. Uh, he has asshole cards. That's what you call asshole cards. I got attack. That's for nine. That's an asshole card. I said before, comes to the second game, he just plays just it's crazy. Uh, I have to block my cat. Lose all my creatures. The only thing I'm gonna hope is for me to draw my. Uh, what card was that? Uh, drawing a blank here. Wow, I believe I am dead. Buff one of theirs and I will be dead. Oh, look at that. He has over 30 life now. 34. To be exact. He will hit me for, what is that, 13? Uh, what card was I talking about? Um... Only gives me spiders, which no, I didn't draw. Oh boy. What is he waiting for? Attack with everything. And to help him out, do that. So, technically, since I helped out, I win too. <laughs> well, that's that. That was game two of Garak. Finally got to game two of fighting him. And as you guys can see, it, it, he just. Well, he ends up playing a different type of deck, which pretty much has the same green cards in it. But it actually, it has Swamp in it too. But he just plays like at a. Just. I guess so aggressively. It's like my deck can't keep up, and there's really not anything I could put in it to allow it to be able to keep up. But, because I don't even have, I'm not, this card's not available to me to use. Same card. That one isn't. I'm sure this is, isn't. But, that was fun once again. Well, that's gonna be it for I think I might just post this up tonight as a special special edition or whatever for 
the ending of the game, which I have not been able to beat yet. If you guys have any recommendations on what cards that are available to me to be able to use, which cards I should put in there, or if I should use a different color deck. Like I said before, I don't want to do a burn deck. I'm not... I'm not I don't like those decks. Uh, they're not fun, in my opinion. They just... They're not even a challenge at all. But... Yeah, just let me know what you guys think. And I will do my best to try to beat him. And maybe I'll make another video of trying to beat Gorok again. And I'll post that up. If not, then I will just let you guys know when I do beat him. Well, thank you guys for watching. And I will speak and play video games with you guys at a later date. Thanks again, guys. Later.